Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I will be covering what's the difference between thoracic outlet syndrome and cervical radiculopathy. Thoracic outlet syndrome is commonly abbreviated to TOS. Thoracic outlet syndrome and cervical radiculopathy are both serious medical conditions. If you think you have either of these conditions, please see a medical professional immediately. Do not hesitate. Viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Thoracic outlet syndrome is an impingement on one of the nerves in the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a network of nerves in the upper body, while a cervical radiculopathy is an impingement on a cervical nerve root. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. And most commonly, when there is a cervical radiculopathy, it comes from the lower part of the neck from nerve roots C6 or C7. Thoracic outlet syndrome can come from a contact injury or it can have an insidious onset. There are three places where the entrapment of the brachial plexus can occur. One is between the scaling muscles. Number two is underneath the clavicle. And number three is underneath the pectoralis minor muscle. A cervical radiculopathy can be caused by a trauma or the origin can be non-traumatic. The traumas can be from a sports injury, from a fall, or from an auto accident, or any type of injury that applies pressure to the neck. Thoracic outlet syndrome and cervical radiculopathy are both common conditions. The main difference is the location of the nerves that are impinged and the nerves that are impinged in these two conditions. Thoracic outlet syndrome is often abbreviated to TOS. It is the result of compression or irritation of the brachial plexus, which is a complex network of nerves in the upper body. There are three main sites of compression or irritation. Number one is named the interscaling triangle, which is between the anterior scaling muscle, the middle scaling muscle, and the medial surface of the first rib inferiorly. The second location is behind the clavicle in the costoclavicular space. And the third condition is called the subcoracoid space, and it is the angle between the pectoralis minor tendon and where it attaches to the coracoid process. Symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome include pain, paresthesia, which is numbness and tingling. There can be weakness muscle and muscle atrophy in the upper limb. This is a condition that if not treated properly can be long standing. Cervical radiculopathy is the result of irritation or compression of a nerve root as it exits the cervical spine. Nerve roots C6 and C7 are the most commonly involved. It can be a cause of significant neck pain, upper extremity pain, and disability. Pain is a common presenting symptom and may be accompanied by numbness, tingling, burning, and weakness in the areas innervated by the effective cervical nerve root. This pain can be sharp shooting shock-like pain. In long-standing cases, there can be muscle atrophy. I have videos on thoracic outlet syndrome and cervical radiculopathy, so I'm going to place the links in the description box below. So you could watch those and get the finer details on both of these conditions. So please go ahead and watch those to learn a little bit more. But the main difference between thoracic outlet syndrome and cervical radiculopathy is the location of the nerves that are impinged and the nerves that are impinged. Again, in thoracic outlet syndrome, there is compression or irritation of the nerves that are located in the brachial plexus. In a cervical radiculopathy, there is compression or irritation of the nerve roots in the cervical spine. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. 
If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Again, thank you very much for watching today's video.